presented by State Farm. Hey, what's up guys, so you know it's best here at E3 this year, Microsoft talked a lot about the Xbox One, but they also mentioned that they have released a new version of the Xbox 360, and this is the Xbox 360E, which is replacing the Xbox 360 Slim. So I'm gonna get into the unboxing and talk about a couple of the minor differences between this one and the Xbox 360 Slim, and it's gonna start it. All right, so I have the new Xbox 360E right here. This is the four gigabyte version. They also do have versions that have bigger hard drives and one that comes with the Kinect. But anyway, I'm just gonna be unboxing the bare bones version for you today. And let me go ahead and get out my unboxing knife, get this thing unboxed here. Let me get it untaped. All right. All right, so we're gonna open up this flap here and we're gonna take out probably all the different components. Uh, first of all, and let me see what's in here. We have the controller, which is going to be the same controller, nothing is changed with this. Uh, just the standard Xbox 360 controller, like so. And then to see what we have in this compartment. Uh, we just have the power brick, all the different cables that you need to hook this thing up to your TV. Uh, don't need to take out the wrapper because there's nothing new with that. And then now I'm gonna to get to the start of the show. There's some documentation and stuff in there, but we don't need that. And so here is the Xbox 360E. And so let me go ahead and get this thing unwrapped. I don't need my knife, I don't think, for that. Get that out of there and almost. Oh, voila. Here it is. All right, so the main difference you can see here is that it has the same similar Xbox One design and this two-tone design where one is glossy and one is matte. And you can see on the front, it has that same look to it. And I actually do like the look. Uh, it does look good on this new Xbox 360. All right, so take a look at the front of these systems. You'll see that the eject button has been moved down to on top of the now smaller power button on this Xbox 360E. Um, and pretty much everything else is the same. You still have the button here to be able to connect uh, and sync to different controllers. Then we have this little uh, door here that will give you access to two USB ports. Now, if we take a look at the backs, you'll see that the 360E is missing one USB port where the 360 Slim has three in the back. And then also too, the 360E doesn't have an option for optical audio that is right here um, on the Slim. All right, so other than that, the system remains pretty much the same on the inside. It's not gonna be faster or more powerful than the Xbox 360 Slim. Um, it's just gonna be a little bit more efficient. It is slightly smaller and thinner um, than the Xbox 360 Slim, but really not by that much. It just has a better overall look. Now, one other thing regarding the internals is that the hard drive is a little bit easier to replace than in previous generations of this Xbox 360. Um, so iFixit did a really good job, iFixit.com, at showing how to replace the hard drive. So again, it's just going to be a little bit easier. All right, but other than that, guys, here is the Xbox 360E unboxed. All right, so that's my unboxing of the new Xbox 360E. Again, it's not that much of a difference between the Slim, and so if you have a Slim, definitely don't upgrade to this thing. It's not worth it. But anyway, that's my unboxing of the Xbox 360E. Leave a comment down below about what you think about this new Xbox system or if you're just really waiting for the Xbox One or PS4 or whatever. And I also do, before I do end this video, I'm going to take one last look at our sponsor. Remember, having insurance isn't the same as having State Farm. With agents ready to help you 24-7, 365, that's getting to a better state. All right, again, thanks for watching this video. All the links to my social networks are down below my Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And if this is your first time watching me, do make sure you subscribe to my channel to see all of my future videos. And thanks for watching this video, guys, and I will catch you later. Peace.